and welcome to 5th Day Coral. This is my first video and so basically we're going to be learning how to frag a jack-o'-lantern leptoceris. Well basically what I show you here first is that you will be cutting this leptoceris in about four pieces. So the first cut you just kind of want to cut what they call the skirt off. And so you can cut in a perfect circle but it tends to be easier if you cut it more in a square, you get better cuts at the end. And so I'm using a bandsaw right now. And this bandsaw is an inland hobby bandsaw, super easy, best way to do it. But I also will show you how to do it with just some normal bone cutters. So as you see here, I'm just making my first cut. And basically what you wanna do is you can see me moving just a hair sometimes. Uh, just to go around, you know, some bigger eyes I see and kind of conform to the rock. Um, but basically it's easy, you just choose a line and kind of take it straight. Um, you don't really want to turn too much on these bandsaws because they can pop off. Um, the blade can pop off the um, motor, but basically if you just do a straight cut, it'll cut straight through this skeleton of this Leptoceras. And as you see, you'll see I'm using RO water um, as the water that I use to um, keep the saw cool. And so you get a little RO water on these guys, they'll turn a little white. And you'll see that here in a second. But basically, after you're done here, you just make sure you turn the saw off. You know, obviously, don't keep it running. And so these are my pieces. You see my mother calling me. And so these are my first cuts, and then I'm going to make a couple more cuts, mostly just cut them in half, and then I'll cut one of these kind of in thirds, as you see here. And basically what you want to do is just get your pieces to about as big as your thumbnail. Um, I mean, you can really get them as big as you want, but I've learned that if you get them to a thumbnail, it's not too big where, I don't know, it's kind of unsellable or you know be a little bit too expensive and also you don't want them too small because then they just take you know forever to actually go into a mini colony or a colony um, but basically from here I'm just cutting them in half see how easy it is it takes no time at all and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I do it with the bone cutters super super easy same exact thing I'm just going to snip them right in half the skeleton super thin on these guys you could break them with your fingers but then you'd be kind of crushing the um the skeleton and you'd be crushing some of the flesh that's on top with your fingers so the bone cutters is the best thing i wouldn't really try and break it kind of like you can break it like a potato chip but um so what i'm using here is a coral dip so you don't want to dip your corals right off the bat because sometimes you leave them in there you know a decent amount of time and this coral dip tends to be for about 10 minutes. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm breaking my frag rock. So a lot of y'all probably see frag rock being made as in plugs. Well, I'm not really one to like plugs very much. So what I do here is I just get some uh, fake rock. It's called Real Reef and it's man-made, but it's good. It has fake purple on it, but it's not paint. It's 100% reef safe. Um, you can get it almost anywhere and I break it up and then I use it as little frag rocks and as you see here I'm putting it on this little piece of egg crate just to you know for the water to run through you'll see in a second um, and basically what I'm doing is I set all these guys out and I use a smaller piece of egg crate just to keep myself time wise better so I don't forget to you know maybe leave a piece of coral out for too long even though these guys can do pretty well outside the water for a while so I just put a little dab of glue in a little flat area and I also use this egg crate to kind of settle the rock, you know, choose which way I would like to put the glue. And so what I can do is put it on the egg crate, see how it stands, put the glue on and throw on the coral. And obviously you also sometimes can put the coral on the rock and kind of see how it positions. Um, but it's really simple, and I just use a uh, glue that's just regular old super glue gel. Um, the gel works the best, the watery kind doesn't work very well. 
And so um, what I'm doing here is just adding water to them to get the glue to solidify. Um, the glue solidifies better um, whenever it's uh, in contact with salt water. It'll um, crystallize. So basically I'm done. And after this you just, you know, let them uh, soak in there as much as possible without any current from your tank. And then eventually what you can do is put them in your tank and this is about, I would say an hour after um, I put them in the tank and so all of them look really good. And thank you for watching and this is actually my first YouTube video. so. If you have any comments about what I should change, let me know. I'll take any criticism, honestly. So, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, my YouTube channel name is Fifth Day Coral. And so, I'm kind of new at this and I just wanted to give it a try. So, thanks for watching.